In this final example, I want to show you how easy it is to configure multiple language emails with relevant language associated attachments. And this could be based on the customer language code contained within Business Central. The first area that I've clicked on is my report setup. And for the sales order, you can see that I've attached two separate language variant attachments. Now, these attachments, if I just click into it, this is Danish terms and conditions in a word format. And then if we just look at the second option that we've configured, we've selected to attach our English translated terms and conditions again based on the customer language code within Business Central. So if I just now go into my setup again, and if I select miscellaneous and email templates, again, we've got two different uh, setups for, for the sales order. So if I just modify this, this is the English language template. So you can see that I've got English language in the mail body, but also containing some placeholders. So we can pull through variable information, in this case, the customer's name, and also the sales order confirmation. And just to show you the Danish version, if we click into that, and then if I click modify, you can see we've created a Danish version equally um, of the language contained within the body of the actual email. So let's put that to the test. Let's go into our sales orders. Now, I know for the Canon Group, this is actually a UK based customer. So if I go to send an email, you can see the resulting email is actually in the English language, but also we've attached the relevant language variants of the terms and conditions. If I go into my Hi Fi shop and rerun this, Select my email confirmation. You can see this time we have a translated version within the email body, again, including the relevant language variant of the terms and conditions. So very simple process to set up with LazNet in combination with Business Central.